Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I thought I'd put together a quad workout for you. I did a couple days ago. Now I don't want to talk through the entire workout, but I do want to give you guys a few pointers on, on working your quads. You'll notice I use the Smith machine a lot for my quad workouts. Um, that's mainly because I can sit back nice and deep and not have to worry about my back or my upper body form. Um, and really, you're just pushing that weight back up with those the tops of your legs, okay? Um, push down through those heels. So in every squat and lunge that you do see in this video, um, I want you to um, remember to do all of that. Now, when it comes to the weight, the reps, and the sets for each of these exercises, I'm gonna leave that up to you guys. Typically, I'll do three sets. Um, 10 to 15 reps, just depending on how heavy I go. Um, again, you really just want to feel that squeeze in the, the front of those legs. For me, I'm not necessarily trying to build muscle, so I do a lot of light weight, as you'll notice. Um, I do a lot of high reps, just to get more of a cardio um, exercise, cardio session in as well. So again, it's all up to you guys. If you guys want to go heavier to make those quads pop, to build that muscle, go for it. Also notice that I typically do a lot of exercises around the same piece of equipment. Um, that's usually because I am a little impatient when it comes to the gym. Um, I have had so many times where people have taken my equipment if I do supersets or um, hit interval training where I'm working one muscle group on one machine and then doing a different muscle group on a different machine. And even though I do actually kind of put some of my, like my towel or my drink, my gallon of water at the other machine, sometimes people don't seem to notice. So um, I like to, that's what I love about the Smith machine, there's so many exercises you can do on this. And like I said, it's, it's more aesthetic based, it's more, you're working one muscle group at a time. I can focus 
just on my glutes on the Smith machine. I can focus just on my hamstrings, just on my abs, just on my quads. Um, it's all amazing. Um, when whereas when you do a normal barbell with weight on it, you do have it is more of a functional movement. Yes, and it's great to incorporate into your weekly routine. But when it comes to aesthetics. Um, I like to work that one muscle group as much as possible. Now you're indirectly working your whole lower body, but you're just working, you're more focused on one particular muscle group, um, which is great. You're going to feel more sore with ever exercise or whichever muscle group you actually are working. Um, so these are newer into my quad regimen. I really like these actually. I don't go as low as one of whom I'm seeing. I think I see them during CrossFit competitions. Um, they go super low, um, which in, I don't have the greatest knees, and I'm pretty sure that going much lower than the bench is not the best for your joints. So, you know, just go just go all the way down to the bench. You can even take a mini second break. I want you guys to focus on putting all your weight on that front heel that's on the floor. All right, the plates will help with your balance. Very, very much focus on that. And then straighten that knee out and squeeze that quad. That will get you, lift you off the bench and then nice slowly come on back down. Okay, this is an advanced version, just 50 pounds per leg. Um, honestly, this is the first time I did 50 pounds. I handled it pretty well, probably just because I work, work my quads at least once a week by themselves. So I am getting stronger and you will too. So just start the beginners and then make your way up. All right. This is the, um, this is one that I really like. I've seen a few people do. Um, I think Heidi Summers even does this in one of her, uh, her gym sessions, but this one is a one legged sideways leg press. I don't think there's a, you know, legitimate term for it, but this one's great. Now I, you only see one 45 pound plate. Um, I actually did have two 45s, one on each side, and honestly, it was so heavy that I couldn't come down as far as I wanted to to really engage those quads. So go do it light enough to where you can come down, not all the way, because the further you come down, the more you're going to gauge your glutes and your hamstrings, which obviously this exercise is focused on quads. So come halfway down and then squeeze it up and then really focus on squeezing that outer quad um, that you're going to get that really nice outer sweep of that front of your leg, okay? All right, and to end our quad session, these are um, pulses. I usually do these. These are pulses at the end of my workout. Lighter weight again. You'll see both 45 on each side. Um, nice and quick. Again, I'm not going all the way down. I'm not going a very deep leg press here. This is, again, more for those quads. So it's almost like halfway down that you really engage those quads. You know, listen to your body. Feel those muscle groups as you're doing it. And then really squeeze all the way up. Well, guys, thanks so much for stopping by. I hope you learned a lot from this um, YouTube video. I will be posting more. Um, so if you like, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe. Also, follow me on Instagram for more quick clips and videos.